Hey guys, it's Raylina Rebecca with Metal Evictus, and I'm here with Cognitive with uh, Jarrell, the singer. Say hi. Uh, how's it going? And Rob, the guitarist. What's going on, guys? All right. So first, I want to ask you guys, how are you guys feeling tonight? I know, like, there's a lot of shows tonight, but I mean, you can have fun and rage, you know? Like, that's what it's all about. How are you guys feeling about tonight? I'm feeling really good. The bands that have been playing so far have been sick. Our brothers from Germany are here. We're going to throw down and have some fun. I'm excited to be here. Yesterday we played Las Vegas Death Fest and it was fucking amazing. And now we're here in Cali. Really excited. Awesome. I'm excited to see you guys. And so is everybody else here. <laughs> um, so, like, tell us about you guys. Um, you know, to all your fans that don't know you and do know you. Um, just tell us about you guys. Like, why why did you name you guys that? And just tell us about you guys. Um, me and the drummer uh, came up with the name Cognitive to represent like thinking outside of just the normal death metal box. That's why we came up with Cognitive. Uh, I think we try to be them like intense and brutal in your face, but like throwing in different genres like uh, you know odd time signatures, solos, stuff like that. Just trying to mix it up and just not be lumped in with just the death metal box, and uh, definitely try and bring a good live show as well instead of just standing around on stage. Awesome. I mean, I'd have to agree with everything you said. I'm kind of a new guy. I've been around for about a year and a half, two years now. Uh, a lot of the footwork was done uh, prior to me coming in. But uh, what he said about, you know, kind of having more of the conscious metal, like putting it out there, we wanted a name that people would be able to remember and read at the same time. So that was always good. How long have you guys been a band? Uh, four years, four and a half coming up. It'll be four and a half years. Oh, okay. Um, tell us about you guys individually. Like, why? what made you want to be the singer? Or, you know, singer and the guitarist. Like, did you were you initially already playing those instruments, or uh, did you form it with like a friend? Or no, I I've always been a guitar player. Um, I've known the drummer for a long time, and uh, me and I was looking just to originally record, and then me and him were like, let's just make it a band. And uh, I love playing guitar. It's like one of the few things I'm actually good at, so I just wanted to stick with it. And then uh, we just got all the other guys, and I mean, he could speak for himself, I'm sure, about singing. Yeah, I mean, I tried starting singing when I was about 16, and then we couldn't find drummers anywhere, so I picked up the drums. Uh, and then I wanted to get back into it. I uh, got another band. He, you know, we kind of hooked up at that point. And, uh, you know, once that band kind of died out, I switched over to Cognitive to start to sing for them, and it's been a blast ever since. Awesome. Okay, so speaking of that, like, let's talk about your writing process. How does that go? How do you guys write? How does it start? Um, I usually write a lot of the guitar riffs at home and I'll come to practice with like seven riffs like a segment and such like that. I try to actually have the drum ideas in my head too just to keep everything cohesive so it like makes sense as songwriting. Then uh, I usually come to practice, let him do his thing and me and him bounce ideas back and forth vocally and try and just make it as best as we can. I don't know if it's succeeding or not. <laughs> so wait, so does it start with the guitarist and the singer? Uh, no, no, it usually starts with me and the drummer, me and the oh. drummer, but usually I come to practice with like, I'd say about like two minutes worth of music all strung together and then like we'll either bounce ideas back and forth from there. Oh, okay, do you have anything to add? Yeah, he'll be driving his car and he'll be like, oh my god, blah, 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 dun, dun, dun. and then he'll come to practice, pitch it to the drummer, they get everything laid out, and then it's my turn. <laughs> Awesome. And you said that part wrong. It's I knew it was going to correct me on that. It's much better. It's better. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, how long does it take to like, you know, like, do you guys write songs like two songs in one night? Or do you guys like spend like one night like writing a whole song? I wish, a day, I wish they came out A year quick. writing a song? Or how does that work? How long does it take? Um, uh, it could take up to like, I'd say sometimes it could be like as few as three weeks, other times it could be like three months to write a song. Like, it all just depends. We're lucky that some, me and the drummer click, but it's definitely not two songs in one night. I don't know who you're hanging out with. I want to hang out with that people though. They do that. That's great. I, would. I mean, I really don't have too much to add to that. Yeah, if, if we could write two songs in one night, man, we'd have demos upon demos upon demos. And everyone buys And everybody would find the demos. Wow, okay. 
Yeah, some people actually do write in like one day, like okay. multiple songs. Um, okay, so um, you guys are on tour right now. So um, where did it start and uh, where have you been to so far? And where are you headed to? Um, we started in New Jersey uh, like a week and a half ago. We did uh, Jersey, Maryland, Virginia Beach, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, North uh, Carolina, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas. Where else have we been? New Mexico, Arizona, Las Vegas, Death Fest. And then uh, tonight we're here in LA. Tomorrow we're in Anaheim. We got a couple more dates in Cali. We swing back up around north or Colorado and all start heading home. We still got two weeks ahead of us. It's, it was almost a month, so I'm excited. Yeah. Nerve wracking, but excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you dad? Oh, what's to add to that? Uh, Las Vegas Death Fest was amazing. That was the first time I've ever been to Vegas, and I think that was the most appropriate time to be in Vegas. You went into a hotel room, and it was nothing but camo shorts and death metal t shirts. It was best. <laughs> I bet. Um, did, um, is there anything that cool you, that you'd like to say about one of those places or fun, funny, like something that happened that you remember like definitely on that tour, like you can look back and be like, dude, Atlanta I remember that time. one place. Atlanta was a good time. Atlanta, I almost went clubbing at some like really shady rap club. I was down at that time. Me and him were having a, way too much fun in uh, Atlanta. Vegas was good too. There was a lot of cool street performers and uh, drinking, but I tapped out early last night. <laughs> but other than that, every night's been awesome. Every night's been like really good. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Every night's been really sick. Uh, but for me, just for the fact that I had no idea what Atlanta, Georgia was going to be like, but they threw down. They did not care about their own bodies or what was around them, and they just they threw it all out there and had a good time. It was awesome. But we've had a lot of those shows, and a lot of people just having a great time, which is awesome to have. Yeah, it's it's important, you know. Like you have a good time, everybody else has a good time, you know, exactly. right? Um, so, um, how many tours have you guys toured? Like, how many have you did? Um, if we're gonna count the weekenders, I couldn't even keep track. I mean, we've only did like. This is our biggest one and longest so far, but like we did like a 10 day -er and like two. Uh, we did another w week. We toured with Worm from Spain, uh, Condemned from Cali, uh, Who Else Devourment. We did a couple dates with. We did a couple dates with the Bloodletting tour with Gorod before. Did you say Cyclopic? I mean, not Cyclopic, I'm sorry. Uh, Virginia, uh, New Jersey, we brought them out. Um, I thought you were talking Yeah. About <laughs> Don't listen to him, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, so, like, um, earlier, you know, you were talking about some crazy stuff that happened. Do you guys want to share some crazy ass stories? <laughs> I mean, the, the crazy... Yeah. <laughs> the craziest people on this tour thus far, I mean, the people have no... Uh, that they're not involved with metal at all, just people on the streets yelling at us about sound pollution or noise pollution. Oh my god, I forgot <laughs> about that guy. Yeah, I got into it with some guy telling us we needed to listen about noise pollution. And uh, I told him to talk to the owner, and he didn't want to talk to the owner, he wanted to talk to me, and then I snapped on him. And I got in trouble for snapping him. Apparently he was down the street prior to, and a guy who's coming to the show just asked him a question, and he told him to F off and stuff and get out of his face. He's kind of crazy. Just, <laughs> Just a little bit of a nutball. Wow. Yeah. Uh, any other stories you want to mention or something? From this tour or stories, period? Period. <laughs> like, any stories. Oh, God. <laughs> Is there another one? You start spitballing, I might get something. I don't know. You can do the Baltimore story. Uh, do you want the Baltimore story? No. You want it? <laughs> All right, so uh, we get to Baltimore, and uh, we play our show. This was with... Was that the Devourment show or was that uh, another it was show? Devourment. That was the Devourment show. We had played with them a couple of days. We did Boston with them and everything. And uh, so somebody in the band uh, decided to take it upon himself to get utterly wasted and uh, to kind of get lost in Baltimore. <laughs> Multiple you know, times. multiple times With to the point where <laughs> me and a couple of dudes we had brought out there were kind of like driving around looking for him and everything. And then here he is just walking down the street, just chilling, doing his thing. And sure enough, I'm screaming at him to get in the car because I had to drive separately because of another band member. But yeah, yeah. And then I jumped out of the car. They jumped out of the car. And got another beer. <laughs> it was bad. I had to do shots, even though the bar was closed. <laughs> <laughs> Threw up on the way home. 
And wow. I had a hot chick texting him at six in the morning. I had no idea who it was. She was from the show, apparently. Oh, wow. <laughs>